The Bearcats back at home for the first time in two weeks as Sam Houston State hosts Laterno for college basketball on ESPN. And welcome inside Johnson Coliseum. Rob Hip, Matt Peterson on hand. The Bearcats, two winnable games on the road. They came up short in both, and now an opportunity to clean up a few things at home. Transition defense going to be a huge one here. I had a chance to talk to head coach Hooten before this ball game. Communication on that transition, very important here. Also, getting to the paint. Sam Houston State has got to get to the paint. They've also got to get to that free throw line here tonight. And then finally, last but certainly not least, a better job rebounding, and I think we're going to be set for a good one. The Bearcats back on the road after tonight. They go to USF and then Cal State Bakersfield. And now our HEB impact players. First for Letourneau, it's Brick Fosnight. Well, the sophomore with 21 points Sunday versus Milliken. That was a career high for him. Great job last week. And for Sam Houston State, it's Xavier Bryant. Well, the sophomore, 16 points at Central Michigan on Saturday. 9 for 15 from the field. He's leading the team in total field goal percentages so far this early season. HEB, the official grocer of the Sam Houston State Bearcats and the Bearcats Sports Network. A look at the Bearcat bench after a two-city road trip. They are back home, and here are the starting lineups for Jason Hooten and his 10th year in charge in Huntsville. Chad Bowie, Zach Nuttall, Xavier Bryant, RJ Smith, and Kai Mitchell. Bear Cats have to return three of their top four seniors from last year. And here is the Laterno starting five. Nate West, Andrew Eberhardt, Warren Richardson, John Argue, and Brick Foss Knights. Laterno coached by Dan Miller in his sixth season. And there once again, the Bear Cats starting five. This Laterno team, 63 wins over the last three seasons, the most for any Division III school in Texas. They are set here today. They want to come in and upset Sam Houston State University. Sam has them 7-0 all time, dating back to 1982. Those starting lineups presented by Miller Lite, the official beer of the Bearcats Sports Network. Now the Bearcats won this matchup last season, 104-57. A jump ball off the tip. Do not see that very often. Kai Mitchell wins the tip, and we're underway in Huntsville. Xavier Bryant initiates the offense for the Bearcats. Mitchell from 15 feet, and the Bearcats up two. It's a good start for the senior, Kai Mitchell. Mitchell, one of those returnees, big expectations this season. The Bearcats lost three of their top four scorers and all four of the fifth year seniors. That's long, you saw Nuttall rise high and go down. It's gonna be Letourneau basketball. Great pressure on the far side brought there by the junior R.J. Smith, standing at 6'5", 220 out of Kansas to start things here on the defensive side for Sam Houston State. The miss jumper from Brick Foss Knight. Laterno Division III school from Longview, Texas, midway between Tyler and Shreveport, Louisiana. He comes out firing, misses his first two shots, offensive rebound, and a steal from Xavier Bryant. Outlet Nuttall, 4 nothing Cats. Nuttall averaging 27.3 minutes a game. That leads the team. We'll see a lot of him here this evening as well. A very different role as that was from way downtown. Off the mark from Tyler Polk. Uh, Bearcats sloppy in transition. They turn it over. We saw Nuttall score there. He's the leading scorer. Somewhat surprising, more of a bench player last year. But with the Delaney brothers graduating, or Cam Delaney, the Southland Conference Player of the Year, his twin brother Josh, the first team all Southland player. Regular season champs in the Southland Conference. Big shoes to fill here in Huntsville as the foul is drawn by Nate West. In the backcourt, Nate West, freshman from Houston's Strake Jesuit High School.
Five to shoot. Another offensive board. And the Jackets are on the board. So standing at 6-7, you ought to see a lot of boards here this afternoon from Fosnight had one there. Traveling the call. Bearcats having a hard time controlling the defensive glass. Steps that time from R.J. Smith for the season. The Bearcats have out-rebounded opponents 115-108. Went on the road after a home victory against Paul Quinn. They went to Mississippi State, lost by nine. And then at Central Michigan, lost by seven. They had an opportunity in both games. Traveling the call, Bearcats with the basketball. And Sam Houston here early on the offensive side. A couple of turnovers. They've got to calm that part of the game down and really find their rhythm here. We talked about earlier one of those keys also getting in the paint, drawing fouls. That's a great opportunity here to start for Xavier Bryant. Our Bearcats led by four at halftime at Central Michigan, but allowed 48 points in the second half. Very uncharacteristic for a Jason Hooten team. Typically defense first for Hooten. Now they lost by seven. Four players in double figures last weekend. Mitchell with 12, not all with 12. Xavier Bryant with 16. And then Lampley with 12 as well. And but Sam Houston led that game for 35 minutes going, and then the last five or six minutes, just some turnovers costing them. That's what they're trying to stop here this afternoon. 6 2 Cats after Bryant makes both free throws. A steal. Bryant on a three on one. Nuttall rises for the flush. Great transition, coming back after the steal, slamming that one home. Sam Houston finding the rhythm now after those few turnovers to start this ball game. Not all an athletic star. Bryan High School up the road, Bryan College Station. He's always had that athleticism here in Houston, or here in Huntsville, at Sam Houston. Perhaps turning the corner, becoming a better all-around basketball player as a sophomore. For Coach Hooten, Bryant driving, good left-handed finish. Xavier Bryant, one of our players to watch out for this afternoon and showing some domination early. Six-nothing run for the Cats, they lead by eight. Offensive foul. Andrew Eberhardt, the sophomore. Well, the Bearcats still a work in progress as they try to find that experience and learn under Jason Hooten in his 10th season. Now, Bubba Furlong missed the first two games, came back to make his debut. Against Central Michigan, he figures to be a big piece of this year's team. Corner three off the mark from Mitchell. 10-2 Cats, early stages here tonight. Mitchell, whistle for a foul. He's had foul trouble in the early going this season. Mitchell, of course, one of only three seniors alongside Chad Bowie and Danny and Swoop this season. Three-pointer is there. Nate West, five-point lead for the Cats. Good transition basketball. Bowie up court. We saw him at times last year take over games on the offensive end. Now Bowie got a hand on it from behind. Good contest at the rim. The miss from Warren Richardson. Out to Bowie. Forced pass that time. He tried to heave it into Smith. Bearcats with three turnovers. There's another three from the Yellow Jackets. Brick Fosnight. Weston Fosnight getting in on that three-point action now. Nice ball movement, but a missed layup. Good look again for Kai Mitchell. Bearcats steal it. And traveling is the call. 
Now the second the chance. Under 16 timeout in Huntsville. Bearcats up four. Third generation Bearcat, Tacey Webb, roped her way to a national championship through her hard work and fearless dedication. Trading her saddle for nursing scrubs, Tacey set her sights in another arena, a place where she can champion the needs of others. Since 1879, we've been helping students like Tacey reach their championship potential. Sam Houston State University, a great name in education. Dan Miller in his sixth season in Longview with the Laterno Yellow Jackets. A Division three program. Plays here in Huntsville quite often recently. It's the eighth all-time meeting dating back to 1982 between Laterno and Sam Houston State. Substitution into the game is Justin Moore. Where's number 10 for Laterno? And another three ball, Elijah Gerber. A turno within a point. Yeah, Gerber giving the Yellow Jackets their third three pointer of this afternoon. They made four of their last five from the field, a six nothing run inside and a reverse layup. Mark Ticodico, red shirt sophomore from Moscow, a transfer from North Texas. Traveling. We talk a little bit about Letourneau here, their first 13 games of this season, 12 of them on the road. That's a tough start for any school, especially Division Three, and here getting their second contest versus the Southland this season. And Demarcus Lampley checks in, a Juco transfer from Wallace State, native of Alabama. Tico Ninko just had the reverse layup. There's a good block right at the rim. Bearcat basketball. Good size, six foot 10, 240 pounds. Not a big rebounder, more of a finesse player inside. Terriante Thomas also in the game. Jason Newton going to his bench after the media timeout. Another open three, but he stepped out. Waste of a good look that time for Letourneau. That was Kyle Matthews alone in the corner. A little bit of ball control trouble here for both teams to start. Letourneau with six turnovers, Sam Houston with four. And despite those four turnovers for Sam Houston, they're shooting 60% from the field. Jawan Jones initiating the offense. A good footwork inside. Tico Ninko with two more. You know, the transfer from North Texas really showing some rhythm here early. Oh, his minutes climbing, double digits in each of the first three games. He pulls in another rebound, but he had four fouls. Uh, there's a Bearcat turnover, four fouls at Central Michigan. Uh, foul trouble was one of the stories for the Bearcat, Bearcats in the loss at Central Michigan. R.J. Smith fouled out, Bubba Furlong fouled out in just seven minutes. And then four others with four fouls. Mitchell, Bowie, Bryant, Antico Ninko. Antico Ninko, four fouls in 15 minutes. We talk about Tico Ninko standing tall at six foot 10, two for three this season from the three point line. It's rare to see big men out there shooting threes and he's done a great job here early this season. Now the Bearcats, Call for 34 fouls at Central Michigan. The home team called for just 18. Big difference in that game, a missed three. And a loose ball foul on the rebound. Charged to Garrett Bean, a sophomore out of Rowlett, Texas. Lose some of that rhythm on these fouls called. Letourneau shooting only four for 11, 36%. Off a screen, it's not all short from deep. Offensive rebound, and off the glass to Marcus Lampley. Lampley out of Phoenix City. Here with a good start early for his team as well. Left wing three is long, the Yellow Jackets have decided to just come out firing. Now three of six from downtown tonight. Nuttall, open three. Now 
Letourneau calls time. The Bearcats have stretched the lead to 10. Well, great movement there by Dewan Jones as he found his teammate. That's the way to finish a play. He thought that he had a lane inside as he drove under the basket, saw his open man from a three-point shot, hit it, lights out right there for Sam Houston State. Well, the Bearcats, when they were at their best last year, a long unbeaten run opened up conference play en route to a conference championship. And we get plays like that. Attack the basket, get downhill, get it back to their three-point shooters, including the Delaney brothers, Albert Almanza. And they can hit you from deep. They would defend the ball well. But a very new group for Coach Hooten with three of the top four scorers not returning. Have to fill that leadership void without the Delaney brothers, Albert Almanza. A team still forging its identity here in Huntsville. Well, under Coach Hooten, he's been able to prove himself over his 10-year tenure. He's been here longer than that, but the head coach for 10 years, he's done a great job putting together, especially younger guys. And it's a bit different this season, but we're still very early. Sam Houston State very early here in this season. Full court press from Jason Hooten. Our fourth Southland championship for the Bearcats last year. Another three is there. Garrett Bean, charged for the foul a moment ago, hits it from deep. Yeah, and give Bean credit for setting that high screen on the pick and roll, able to come back and hit that three. That was all him setting that up on the offensive side. Wide open from the right wing, off the mark from Dewan Jones, offensive rebound. And a tie-up, possession arrow with Letourneau. Tico Ninko brought in that rebound. Bowie returns, also on the court. Dane and Swoop, a graduate transfer from Elon University. Where's number 13 for the Cats? Justin Moore initiates the offense for Letourneau. Moore with the left hand, left it long, and the rebound pulled in by Terriante Thomas. Good look there by Moore, had the penetration, just wasn't able to finish it. Jones, left it short, gets his own rebound. A Bearcat basketball after the foul. And Dewan Jones down there with three defenders still able to rip that ball down. You talk about some of these guys, even at five foot ten, a lot of athleticism here for the Sam Houston State Bearcat team. Seven point lead for the Cats under 12 minutes left in Huntsville. Welcome back, Johnson Coliseum, Sam Houston State up seven on Letourneau. Oh, inbounds for the Bearcats. It's Chad Bowie, top of the key. Mitchell off the screen. A 10 to shoot as Dewan Jones backs it out. High screen, Mitchell. Traveling. Seventh turnover for the Bearcats. We're trying to force a shot there, but hey, nonetheless, showing some athleticism. That all leading the Cats with seven points so far. A turnout four of seven from downtown. Four different players have hit a three for the Yellow Jackets. Eight to shoot. Good defense. They call a kick after the shot was released on the shooter, Justin Moore. Good pressure there with the hands in the face by the sophomore guard, Dewan Jones, out of Colleen, Texas, putting a hand up and again forcing another opportunity here for Sam Houston's offense. Now feels like an NBA playoff game there with James Harden and <laughs> everything that happens on the perimeter in the NBA with landing space. At that time, the foul called on Moore after the shot was released. Top of the key, it's Jones. R.J. Smith, left wing three, in and out, off the mark from Swoop. Swoop averages about 55% from that three-point line, and back the other way, a foul and a shot here. Good penetration coming in there for Nate West. 
plus the foul. Letourneau hanging around. Putin going to his bench quite often here in the first half, trying to find the right combination, giving everyone an opportunity. We see DeMarcus Lampley and Xavier Bryant both return. Nate West, a first team All-American, Southwest Conference East selection just a year ago. He averaged 24.1 points a game, showing why he's one of the top players here for Letourneau. Bearcats 21 and 12 last year. 16 and 2 in the Southland Conference. Went to the NIT. And traveling is the call. The Bearcats have to be better at the basketball. Playing lower level competition. Eight turnovers in under 10 minutes. You're going back to Sam Houston. Last year they were projected six in the conference. Kind of surprised everybody finishing second. It's a great season for Sam Houston State, trying to pick up on that momentum for where they left off last season. Very deep three is missed. A rebound pulled in by Bryant. It was West from downtown. Good defense on the interior from Letourneau. It's Bearcat basketball, but they turned away Smith. Now the Bearcats got a lot of production last season, a lot of players, big jumps, including the Delaney brothers. Cam Delaney ended up with 13 points per game. Uh, Josh Delaney also in double digits. Kai Mitchell was the newcomer. A lot of unknown with that team. Marcus Harris was the best returning scorer. He became a defensive presence, a shutdown defender, and really a good leader on that team. He was the other senior in his fifth year in the program. But we look at Nuttall, the leading scorer here in 2019-20. He was the seventh leading scorer a season ago, just six and a half points per game. Now West misses another, it's tapped out. Good ball movement. Free throws coming for Letourneau. It's great effort down there in the paint by Letourneau, right under, trying to find something on the inside, drawing the foul. They've got to get to the line here to try to claw back into a little bit of a deficit, only trailing by four, 21 to 17. You go back to Nuttall talking about leading points per game at 14.3, just over 14. He's also the leading rebounder on the team and the leading assist per game here on the team as well this season. Jason Hoot will hope he makes a jump like the Delaney brothers did last year. Uh, the Bearcats. Very good from deep. They shot 37% from downtown as a team, 44% from the field. A good free throw shooting team. Did all the little things right last season to go 16 and two in the Southland. It's a two point game and a turnover again from the Cats. That's double digit turnovers now for Sam Houston. Cyrus Johnson lost it in the corner. Out of bounds at the baseline. Nuttall returns. It's an eight nothing run for Letourneau. Bearcats with five turnovers in less than four minutes as of late. Another turnover. Mitchell tried to force the pass. When it's not on, the Bearcats continue to try to force it. 11 turnovers. They have got to find some better ball control back on the offensive end. Miss three. West not afraid to shoot. Now two for seven from the field. Handoff. Left wing three. Long. Miss by Lampley. Drive and finish spectacular from Justin Moore. Wow, Justin Moore threw defenders off the left side of the glass. And there's Nuttall attacking the basket off the right window. Offensive foul. Moore called for the charge. Great heads up play there on the defensive side by Demarcus Lampley. Getting his feet set just in time. And you know, we're sitting here right near the court, of course, and if you're here in this arena, you feel at the moment Sam Houston maybe just trying to rush these shots. They haven't really set up a lot on the offense. 
I think they'll start to slow down here in a little bit, but they play aggressive. This is how they play. Turnaround, right hand is long, off the mark for Tico Ninko. Offensive rebound, and free throws coming. Good hustle, Demarcus Lamplin. Well, going back to those keys of the victory that we talked about in the opener, one of them was getting in the paint and getting to the free throw line. Well, Bearcats have suddenly gone cold, but they lead by two here in the first half. Hey Bearcats, take your membership on the go by downloading the Sam Houston State University Alumni Cat App today. Not a member yet? Join the Sam Houston Alumni Association or renew in seconds to enjoy exclusive national benefits on dining, entertainment, and much more. Now that you're in, take some time to explore your exclusive member benefits, read the latest edition of Heritage Magazine, or find an alumni event near you. Click on our travel tile to sign up and explore the globe with our traveling Bearcats, or stay connected to alumni in your area as you take your membership everywhere. Come hang out with the Alumni Association as we tailgate some of the biggest games of the year by showing your alumni member card that is now in the palm of your hand. Download the SHSU Alumni Cat app today in the iTunes or Google Play Store or visit shsu.edu slash cat app. Eat em up, cats! Welcome back, Matt Peterson with Rob Hip. It's a two-point lead for the Bearcats as Demarcus Lampley goes to the free throw line. Both coaches using a lot of its bench in the first half. 11 players have been used by both teams here in the first half. Hey, the first free throw, we go back again, not to spin the record, but the key to victory, getting in the paint, getting to the free throw line. Well, now you get there, you've got to make the free throws. Making the first one here on the front end. Lampley back on the second one and that one in as well. There you go. Make your free throws. Get in there. Create action. Put points on the board. Nate West starts the offense for Letourneau. Nice play. They get a backdoor cut and a wide open layup from John Argue. Great assist there by Corin Taylor to find him as his teammate was slashing inside. Another offensive foul. Bearcat so sloppy on the offensive end. Uh, Tico Ninko was trying to get to a spot towards the baseline. He ran into the Letourneau defender. We've seen Sam Houston get set, and they took a charge earlier in this ball game. Now Rashard Johnson, the sophomore guard out of Houston, Texas. He says, hey, if you can do it, I can do it as well. Nate West into the front court, driving. Oh, he led with that shoulder, called for the offensive foul. West glances over and says, maybe just a little bit of contact. Not going to get the call on that one, and Sam Houston will inbound, trailing by only two, or leading by only two here. Roderick Dixon, Kevin McGill, and Kendall Holderby are the referees tonight. Not all spinning. Kicks it out, open three, is there to Juan Jones from downtown. Wow, Nuttall spun around, found his teammate, wide open, hit the three. Sam Houston capitalizing on that possession. From the moment, it ends a cold spell. Bearcats were one for their last seven from the field. Nice touch on the turnaround jumper from Argue. Argue not going to be denied, turns around, and anytime Sam Houston has had a little bit of a rhythm, Letourneau has been able to come in and put the brakes on. Pull-up jumper from Nuttall is a bit long. Rebound pulled in by Corin Taylor. Open three from the right wing, and that's there! Andrew Eberhardt. Well, West goes behind the back on the dribble. The crossover finds his man for the three-point shot. We are tied at 28. Yellow Jackets, 5 of 10 from deep here in the first half. A good pass to the corner. It's short. Offensive rebound, Nuttall. And a good finish from a tough angle, plus the foul. Initial three-pointer missed by Johnson. Now Nuttall found the rebound, and then he found the basket. Johnson 
coming into this game. Hasn't put up a three yet. We saw one there, not able to find it. But as you said moments ago, Sam Houston again able to get to the line. And shot there good by Nuttall. At all double figures in each of the first three games. Eight of 20 from the field at Mississippi State. Five of 16 at Central Michigan. Shooting 40% from the field on the season. Turnover, the feed came inside from West. Taylor wasn't quite ready for it. Yeah, Nuttall's had to grow up in the Sam Houston State University program as a freshman last year, averaged six, just over six and a half points per game, three rebounds, and he has really turned things around. Playing a leadership role as only a sophomore here at Sam Houston State University. Had the double-double at Mississippi State back on the 8th of November. Here he drives and is turned away. Good rim protection at times in this first half. Argue with the block. Oh, Nuttall flying through the air. I think he saw that hand coming for him. And it's the way it goes, but still the athleticism by the sophomore coming alive here in this season and in this ball game. Exciting to watch him play. Jones inbounds to Tico Ninko. Nuttall back to Tico Ninko. Three more. Wow. We talked earlier, six foot ten, and able to make those three pointers look easy. West short with the floater, but he stays with it. No look pass, and a dunk plus the foul. Off the bench, Warren Richardson. His first two points of the night. Boy, that one right in the face. Tico Ninko, he was there, thought he was going to have a block, and just threw it down with authority on the big man. Tico Ninko getting chewed out by Coach Hoot at the moment. And that's the thing with West. He may have missed the layup, but he is their energizer bunny as the free throw is missed. He's going to stick with everything, fight for every scrap on both ends of the court. How about that from Nuttall and the dunk? Wow, Nuttall says, you can do it, I can do it better back on the other end. Getting the crowd fired up here, the home crowd at Sam Houston State. He split two defenders, and then the flush. Missed three from RU. Aircats into transition. Dewan Jones. A pull up 15 footer off the right rim. Miss from Lampley. Well, Lampley had a good look at the basket there, just not able to drop that one in. Not all a game high, 14 points, six of 10 from the field, plus four rebounds. Open three is there. A moment ago, the dunk, and now showing the range, Warren Richardson. Letourneau, 6 of 12 from behind the arc. Well, that three-point line has been extremely generous to Letourneau this afternoon. You just set it 50% now for Letourneau here in this ball game from the three. A good range, Tico Ninko. Turnover. Well, Turno has made six of its last eight shots, but turnover is costing them in the first half. Under four minutes left in the first half. Cats up five. A very offensive first half here in Huntsville. Cats shooting 50% from the field. Turno at 43%. There, Cats initiate the offense. It's Lampley, lost it. Another turnover for the Cats. 14 turnovers now for Sam Houston State in this ball game. Right wing three is off the back rim. Offensive rebound for the shooter, Argue. Hooten going to the bench. A lot of fundamental mistakes from the Cats here tonight. Nice touch. He's heating up Warren Richardson. We saw the dunk, we saw the three, and now the touch from about 15 feet on the baseline. 
Well, Letourneau not backing down from the three-point shots as well. That's where they have been effective this afternoon, and that's really what's keeping them in this game. And you saw right there maybe a quick three pulling up jumping, but once again the offensive rebound, an opportunity for Letourneau. They capitalize and come back on it. Just seems impossible that a three-point shot can be <laughs> rebounded by the, the guy that took it 25 feet from the basket. That's what happened there after the argue miss, and then second chance points for Letourneau. Sometimes I wonder if these guys have invisible arms where it just reaches out and swoops the ball and brings it back in. Big rebounding edge for the Cats, 18-9 so far. That well, was one of the things that they said they had to do a better job of, Sam Houston rebounding and having that advantage here and also getting to the line five for five from free throws. A grad transfer swoop. Top of the key, good first step, Jones. From the corner, it's there. To Marcus Lampley. Better ball movement from the Cats. Uh, nice touch, off the mark. Missed by Fosnight. Better quickness here from the Cats. Open three, off the mark. Swoop had a good look from the top of the key. East, Foss Knight shuffled the feet on the ball fade. Sam Houston starting to find a little bit of rhythm as far as the ball movement goes. We're seeing it happen now. They're starting to reward him. Hey, that last three-point look, that was still a good look by Swoop. Even if he puts that up, it was great ball movement, passing around to the outside. Swoop had a good look, just couldn't find it. But again, I like the ball movement that we're seeing now from Sam Houston and starting to slow things down when they need to, but then picking up that tempo after a score. Good close out in the corner. Swoop top of the key for Jones. Five to shoot. Jones behind the back dribble, step back, left it short. Good defensive possession for the Yellow Jackets. Left wing three is there. Justin Moore with Swoop defending him. Another three ball for Letourneau. Now seven to 14 from downtown. Bearcats miss a three early in the shot clock. Offensive rebound for Furlong, his first minutes. And he'll go to the free throw line. He just checked in, figures to be a big part of the team this year. They like what he did in the gym, looks a lot leaner. Missed a couple games after surgery, so this is just the second game of the season. That's good to see Furlong back out there, missed that free throw, but great to see him out. His first game last week versus Central Michigan had seven minutes, but again, good to see Bubba out there on the court. Now in his third season in Huntsville, another layup for Nate West. Well, Furlong, one start last year, seven as a freshman two years ago. The Cats call time. Now, 31 and a half seconds left here in the first half, 32nd timeout. Now, Furlong had the surgery at six foot nine. An interior presence it seems to be a big part of the plan to this year's team for Coach Hewitt. On well, both these teams today, coming off of those two losses, back to back losses. The road hasn't really fared well for Sam Houston. Again, we're only three games into the season now in our fourth, and so it's still early. You talk about mistakes earlier, turning the ball over. Hey, if you're going to do that, do it right here before we get into conference play. A couple of conference games next month, and then the real meat of the Southland starts here for Sam Houston State. So get those early mistakes out. Find your chemistry, but you've got to start finding it fast. You can't sit around and wait. You've got to bring the game. You can't let the game come to you. And different schedule this year for the Southland. A few games before the holidays. They'll start at home against Northwestern State and New Orleans. Critical homestand December 18th. So less than a month from tonight, conference play opens. A lot of road tests at USF in a few days. Then at Cal State Bakersfield, a home game. And then at UT RGV. Seven second difference between the clocks. 
A missed jumper from Thomas. Shot clock is off. Almost a spectacular finish, but it'll go to the free throw line. Justin Moore trying to beat three Bearcat defenders. Well, back the other way, Terriante Thomas. Nice little shake and bake move to put his defender on the ground. That one got a few cheers from the crowd here at the Coliseum this evening. Credit to Letourneau. They were decisive losers against the Cats last year. 104-57, the Cats won. Their Cats had four players in double figures, but Letourneau has a little bit more confidence and swagger, and they've really attacked. There hasn't been anything close to a shot clock violation for Letourneau. They've gone down and shot from deep. Shot off the mark at the buzzer from Jones. Letourneau hanging around. They shot 46% from the field, hit seven three-pointers. And at the break in Huntsville, Sam Houston State leads by two. Sam Houston Memorial Fuel Home was established in September of 2003. Our partnership with the Small Business Development Center is just like our partnership with other vendors in our community. We developed a marketing plan, a strategic analysis, as well as social media presence. If you let them, they can take your dream, put it to paper. That's the way we got started, and 13 years later, we're very happy to be a part of this community. Welcome back, Johnson Coliseum. It's 43-41, Sam Houston State leading Division Three Letourneau at halftime. And let's look ahead to the upcoming schedule for the visitors. Oh, it's Birmingham Southern coming in. They've already been tested. They scored 70 points at Stephen F. Austin a couple weeks ago. They lost 89-70, but this looks like it's going to be a very competitive team. Yeah, for this whole entire conference, you know, we talk so much about the Southland for Sam Houston, but for Letourneau as well, they've got a lot to prove in their conference. This is a team that continually wins over the last three seasons, as we talked about earlier, with those 66 wins and three. That leads all of Division Three, but a very tough road ahead here for Letourneau this season. Letourneau picked second in the American Southwest Conference East Division preseason poll, which was released a couple weeks ago. UT Dallas, the favorite in the East Division, Mary Harden Baylor and Harden Simmons atop the West Division. All tough games coming up here. They're going to have to continue to find their play throughout this season. And Whenever you have preseason rankings coming into a game, a lot of coaches will tell you, hey, that's great, but we just want to get through each game a victory. Every game, let's go 1-0. CHI St. Luke's Health Emergency Center, the official emergency center of the Bearcat Sports Network. Bearcats up two at the break. Half time in Huntsville, the Bearcats up 43 to 41. And let's take a look at the CHI St. Luke's Health Emergency Center upcoming schedule for Sam Houston State. Well, a tough road schedule at Mississippi State and at Central Michigan just last week. They go on the road to University of San Francisco and then Cal State Bakersfield in just a couple days. Well, a little bit of a West Coast trip and Six games left here in non-conference before the conference starts. And of course, there's going to be some more non-conference games after that, but only six games remaining before we get to Northwestern State on the 18th of December and then New Orleans on the 21st. As we've talked about all season, all game long, this is a Sam Houston State team that's still trying to find their rhythm. You have seven newcomers on this team, two starters returning, four were lost, a young, talented squad They've got six games to really find it before we get into Southland Conference play. And then 
it's a very interesting Southland Conference schedule because they have two at home. They go on the road for three, which is very difficult if you don't take care of business at home. And then it's home for three more, on the road for three, back home for three, on the road for three. So a very unique schedule in the Southland this year for the Bearcats. Well, it's going to be tough this season, again, with those youngsters. But you've got to know that Sam Houston State is poised for where they are heading. Last year, made it in the NIT. Of course, four Southland Conference titles. Two of those were tournament titles, two NCAA tournament appearances. That one back in 2010. There's a lot ahead for Sam Houston State University, but you better bet it's going to be a lot of fun this season. Or coming up at halftime, the Bearcats against a very determined Letourneau team. It's a two-point lead for the Cats. The proud son of hardworking immigrant parents, Eric Rodas chose to serve his country. A father, a soldier, and now a college graduate. He proved that circumstances have nothing to do with your outcome. Since 1879, we've been helping students like Eric determine their future. Sam Houston State University, a great name in education. And now let's look at the highlights from this first half. The Bearcats up by two at halftime. The Bearcats in white, Letourneau in blue. Early buckets for Zach Nuttall. He led everyone with 14 in the first half. Yeah, Nuttall really providing a lot of penetration for this team. But again, the turnovers, the situation for Sam Houston State. Letourneau back the other way. You saw a three there moments ago. That is an area that they have excelled from this evening close to right at around 50%. Didn't know that they would come in here and shoot those kind of threes. They've done it today. There's been a lot of separation, though, to enable those shots. It feels like the defensive game plan is the Bearcats conceding those three-pointers to Letourneau. They have taken advantage 7 of 14 from deep. What adjustments will Jason Newton make? We'll find out after the break. Second half is next. Since 1879, students have come from far and wide to a place unlike any other. A place where tradition runs deep, honor holds special meaning, and orange brings us together. It's a place where friendships are formed and futures take shape. Every day, students discover Sam Houston anew and walk across our stage united as alumni, united as Bearcats. Join the Alumni Association today. Here we go in the second half. Bearcats up by two over Letourneau. Matt Peterson with Rob Hip. Very entertaining first half. Not the crispest basketball, not the best basketball at times, but an offensive showcase. Well, an opportunity here for Sam Houston and right out of the gates, just about to say for them to get some separation. Kai Mitchell able to knock that one down to get his team a little bit of energy right out of the gates here in the second half. Mitchell, three turnovers in that first half. He's up to four points after that bucket. Aircats committed 14 turnovers in the first half here. Now Bowie with the rebound. Mitchell, back for Bowie. Good ball movement from the Cats. Miss three. Yeah, four rebound for 12 in by Foss Knight. Four for 12 now from that three-point line. Just hasn't been really favorable for Sam Houston. They've had the separation, just haven't been able to find it down in the bottom of the net. Argue with the ball fake. Oh, nice reach in from behind for the steal, but it was lost by Nuttall. Argue misses the layup. Mitchell comes away with the board. Bryant forced it into a bad spot. Bearcats just careless with the ball tonight. Another three-pointer is long. That's from Steph Curry range, six feet behind the three-point line for West, and you can see why he's the all-time three-point shooter in Letourneau basketball history. Bowie misses a three. Mitchell comes away with the rebound and a reach-in foul called on West. And Nate West there, aggressive, trying to pull it down. Give him credit for trying to get that board, but a little bit too much. A quick foul here, Sam Houston State. Only leading by four, if you were just joining us, you may say, hey, a Division One up against a Division Three, maybe some more separation. But this is a Letourneau team, when we came on, talking about their leadership and how good they've been over the past three seasons. 
And right there, you see why. Mitchell called for the offensive foul. The Cats just have to clean it up. Central Michigan was a great learning lesson. They had a lead in that game, but they couldn't close it out in the second half due partially to foul trouble. As I said earlier, two players fouled out, R.J. Smith and Bubba Furlong. Four others had four fouls, a huge foul disparity between Bearcats and Central Michigan. Nice defense from Nuttall with the block and then a travel after the fact on Richardson. <laughs> that was all set up by Nuttall. He put his hand up, said, you're not going to get it around me. Able to set up a great opportunity here back on the offense, but they always say it's cliche, defense leads to offense. Nuttall making it happen here for Sam Houston. Xavier Bryant, RJ Smith, now Nuttall. Another turnover from the Cats. Not all threw it to the hand of Mitchell. There was a hand in there for Letourneau. And teams trading turnovers now. And back and forth we go. Turnover City is what they call it right now. 14 turnovers for Letourneau, 13 for Sam Houston State. Of course, most of those coming early, but we're seeing them early here to start the second half. Well, Mitchell had it poked away. You could just see Hooten on the sideline shout to Zach Nuttall, ask for a bounce pass. Many of these passes are chess passes, they're telegraphed, they're forced into a passing lane that's just not there. Bryant off a screen, short. R.J. Smith with the putback. Yeah, well short there, but a good job by R.J. to know exactly where that ball was going to fall down and puts that back for two. Running floater is short. Offensive rebound from Foss Knight. New possession for Letourneau. West from downtown. Good rebound, Mitchell. That's West's range, just hasn't been able to hit on the last two threes that he put up. Brian coast to coast. <laughs> Better from the Cats, they're up by eight. Offensive foul. Brian takes the charge, West immediately goes to the bench. He knows he's in foul trouble, that's his fourth. Great job by Xavier Bryant. The second time this evening that Sam Houston has been able to take a charge. Again, leading back to offense. You have to get in the transition on the defense, but then also giving your offense an opportunity, taking care of the business, taking care of the ball here. That's a big play for Letourneau. As the Cats turn it over again, West, the best scorer in this game for Letourneau, is at four fouls. Blocking foul there on R.J. Smith. A three-point play opportunity coming for Argue. Argue, a local kid from Houston, went to Clear Lake High School. Six foot eight forward. Going back to West tonight, leading scoring, but third on the roster this season in scoring. This is a young man that was a first team All-American. We talked about that earlier. One of their star players on the team. Letourneau hanging around, it's a five point game. Mitchell drives, pulls it back with the right hand, good touch. Mitchell again, a little shake and bake, bringing it home, putting it in for his team. There's a movie with that saying. What's that, Talladega Nights? <laughs> little Ricky Bobby action going on. Oh, nice touch in the lane, the floater from Kyle Matthews. Sophomore from Pearland, Texas. Out of Pearland, Dawson. Letourneau not intimidated here in Huntsville tonight. Mitchell through the lane, ball fake. Jones short, rebound Letourneau. Eberhardt. From the right wing, Argue off the back rim. Offensive rebound. Eberhardt pulls it down. Matthews, left wing, off the back rim. Uh, nearly another offensive board, but finally pulled in by Jones. Jones pushing the tempo. Excellent finish. And the Bearcats will call time. Well, the Bearcats have made four of their last five from the field. Up seven in the second half from Johnson Coliseum. Welcome back, Matt Peterson with Rob Hip. A good one here in Huntsville. Bearcats up seven. Latorno of Division Three. 
hanging around against the Cats. Well, Eterno tied this game at one point back in the first half. Sam Houston finding some separation here in the second half. The transits and defense picking up a lot better now for Sam Houston State. Drive and a miss finish. He ran into the sanction underneath the basket after the more from the miss from Moore. Missed open jumper from Chad Bowie. Bearcats control the glass. Ten footer is there. Dewan Jones, the sophomore out of Killeen, Texas. Great second chance opportunity. Nine offensive rebounds for Sam Houston State, giving their team another effort there on the offensive side. Blocking foul. R.J. Smith shuffling the feet. One by Kyle Matthews. <laughs> Hard foul down there on the court. You're shuffling around and playing aggressive. And we talked to coaches before in the Division I level, and any coach, even at Division III, such as Letourneau, they will tell you it's tough. As a boy, Lorenzo Baeza's playground was the streets. When his grandfather suffered a heart attack, one nurse's act of kindness changed his life. Today, he is the first in his family to graduate college, and he's not done yet. He's on his way to becoming a doctor. Since 1879, we've been helping students like Lorenzo defy the odds. Sam Houston State University, a great name in education. Welcome back after the media timeout. It's a nine point Bearcat lead. They've been better defensively since halftime. Around the perimeter from Letourneau. And a closeout. Right, they're gonna call the kick again. Second time tonight against Justin Moore. After he's released a three-pointer, been called for a kicking foul. Kind of going back to before that break moments ago, at, at any level in the college, it's tough to win a college basketball game. And you can see here on the replay, wanted that kick. Good call. Yeah, it's a new emphasis in college and professional basketball at the NBA. You want landing space for both the defender and the shooter that time. His foot swept out under the landing space of the Bearcat defender. I like that call. It's an injury risk. Left wing three is off the mark. Missed that time from Terriante Thomas. How can Letourneau respond? Their best scorer, Nate West, on the bench with four fouls. Well, there's an answer. Kyle Matthews, straightaway three. It's the eighth three-pointer tonight for the Yellow Jackets. It's a deep three by Matthews. He was wide open, able to knock that one down and bring the score back. Furlong, Jones back for Furlong. Two-man game, but a missed layup from Furlong. Well, Furlong has shed a lot of weight from last year. Quick trigger three off the mark from Eberhardt. Nuttall slows himself down and misses the three. Great look there on the transition three, just not able to knock that one down. And going back a couple of possessions, John argue with the block against Sam Houston to give Letourneau another possession. Turnover from the Yellow Jackets, cross-court pass. Now we see the return of Kai Mitchell and Demarcus Lampley. Terriante Thomas, 10-man NJCAA All-Region 23 team. First team member of the MACJC All-State at East Mississippi Community College last season. Kai Mitchell double teamed. Kind of a no-look pass, but a missed layup. Put back from Lampley, he was fouled. Now Thomas, rather, going to the free throw line. A state championship last year at the JUCO level, first since the 1930s for East Mississippi Community College and Terriante Thomas. 14 points per game last year for East Mississippi. Shot 38% from deep. Misses the first free throw. Well, that stretch on that first layup attempt couldn't fall in a little too far behind. But give the six foot four junior some credit in Thomas. Able to get that board back and rewards. Misses, splits the free throws, but still great effort by Thomas. 
Well, Bearcats just six free throws tonight. They've made five. Oh, good awareness from Mitchell. Got a hand in the passing lane. Argue spinning. And good help side defense from Jones to force the field. Bowie took the space for a layup. Dewan Jones creating that for his team, getting the tip moments ago, setting up his offense. Sam Houston finding a nine-point advantage now, 58 to 49. Gerber in the corner. Now it's Justin Moore. Acrobatic plus the foul. Moore improvising with West on the bench. He'll go to the line for a three-point play. Another media timeout in Huntsville. The Bearcats, right when they seem they might pull away, Letourneau hanging around. It's a seven-point lead for the Cats. It's finally here. You can download the Disney Plus app right now and start streaming the best of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic. Ad free wherever and whenever you want them. For more, go to DisneyPlus.com. Well, air guitar during the media timeout from two students. Yeah, I thought you were going to go out there, man. I was waiting for you to, man. He's going to follow your lead partner. <laughs> Those guys were having fun, all part of the college basketball atmosphere here at Johnson Coliseum. Air guitar to Michael Jackson's beat it. Pull up from Bowie with four on the shot clock. Bearcats have mostly been cold from deep. They're now five of 17 from downtown. That's the first three for Chad Bowie. Oh, good hustle. He goes over the media seats. Xavier Bryant got a hand in there and tried to get the steal. Right around the shot clock operator. A swoop returns. Brad transfer from Elon. Good pressure from the Cats. They've held Letourneau to 10 points since halftime. Letourneau had 41 at the break. Help side defense and the block from Cyrus Johnson. A redshirt freshman from Culver City, California. Now pick and roll, Mitchell with the layup. Go back the other way, Mitchell gets a nice tip on the ball, runs down, his teammate rewards him inside the paint, right into the rim, able to lay that one in and, and back the other way. Another heads up defensive play by Sam Houston, forcing another charge. Oh, Xavier Bryant had the assist on the pick and roll. He takes the charge, and Letourneau takes time. Now the Bearcats now with their largest lead up 12. An opportunity now as the Bearcats talk things over. Now, Kai Mitchell, you would say the returning star for the Cats, Rob Hibb. Preseason all Southland first team. Lou Henson Award watch list was the Southland Conference newcomer of the year last season. Yeah, we're well, here in this ball game. Eight points, four for six this afternoon. He's missed a three-pointer, but having a pretty well-rounded game here for Sam Houston State in 16 minutes. Not a bad afternoon for Kai Mitchell and we go back to these two losses on the road at Mississippi State, at Central Michigan. You're talking about top power five schools. Sam Houston was in those games in the first half. It was the second half and really last week in the waning moments with about five to six minutes to go. Today it's been a little bit of a different story. Sam Houston, the team that came out of the gate struggling a little bit early with turnovers. They're starting to find their rhythm here midway through the second. We're starting to see a lot more of Sam Houston State basketball that we saw last year. Maybe starting to find some rhythm with these youngsters. Well, some players are going to have to take the jump. It feels like Zach Nettle has done just that. Leading rebounder, leading scorer for the Cats this season. 14 points, 6 of 11 from the field tonight. But who might join him? Will it be Kai Mitchell? Three-pointer to Marcus Lampley. Well, will it be Lampley? 
He heard you over here and said, I'll throw a three up. How about that? Well, it's his first season in Huntsville. I think what was unique about last year's team, it was the returners who made the jump. The Delaney brothers, Albert Almanza, the different role for Marcus Harris. It was the same players as the year before, but role players became stars, and they went 16-2 and to win the conference. For that to happen this year, it's going to be the guy with the ball in his hand, Xavier Bryan, Chad Bowie, Zach Nuttall, Kai Mitchell, those kind of guys, the returners from last year's team are going to have to be better. Oh, Kai Mitchell here, a blocking foul called against Letourneau. Rashard Johnson, whistle for the foul. But Jason Hooten says this year's team is more talented than last. And I'll believe him, because last year he said that. And to be honest, I was a little bit surprised by the comment, but he was certainly right. Put back his miss by Cyrus Johnson. But he was certainly right with what he said last year in the preseason. And the 16-2 conference play proved it. The jump from the Delaney brothers proved it. And he'll hope he's right again this year, because if this year's team is more talented than last, should be a good season in Huntsville, but last year's team played like a team. They had the intangibles, they had the mental makeup, the leadership. It's not always about just talent. As Letourneau steps out of bounds, and yet add to that point, what I met with Coach Hooten a little bit earlier this afternoon, as you said, he was saying this is a very talented team, he likes this team. Of course, last year, really enjoyed that team. But it all comes back, and not to bring up the same points, but the youngsters. They've got to start picking up and learning, and you have so many players that have left, new guys coming in, having to fill new roles, as you've said. That's really what this season is going to lean on, is the leadership of these sophomores and juniors. Cyrus Johnson missed it. Aggressive putback from Mitchell, but he missed. Rebound from Foss Knight. Now with four fouls, he's back in the game. Nate West has been the... A lifeline for Letourneau, offensive rebound. Another for the Yellow Jackets and put back from Johnson. A great job by there, Rashard Johnson able to box out on the offense, grab the board, put it back down for his team. They're trailing by 13 with 8.38 to go here in the ball game. Five offensive boards for the Yellow Jackets, eight second chance points. Catch and shoot, three plus the foul. Four point play opportunity. For DeMarcus Lampley. Well, Lampley back-to-back -back threes going back to his previous shot. Made that three and here gets the rare four-point opportunity. Lampley loves that corner here this evening. Hit it yet again. Second leader junior college scorer in the country last season. Lampley, 27 points per game. Plus six rebounds for Wallace State Hansville. Also led his conference. Juco All-American. Big expectations for him. You're the second leading scorer in all of Juco. You're expected to score immediately here in Division I with Sam Houston State. Well, 14 points, I believe, on the evening for Lampley. Nuttall also with 14. Those are your two scores. Maybe 13 for Lampley. I have to check that. But your two scores in double digits and back the other way. Wow, what a slice and dice right through the oven on that one. Brimming with confidence, Zach Nuttall. A role player last year on the senior Laden Bearcats. He might be the star of this year's team. Good turn and finish for Letourneau's big forward, Paul Thielen. A sophomore from Briggs, Texas. Now Lampley yet to start this season. Three games off the bench. He misses that corner three and then a loose ball foul. Now Lampley. Before play tonight, seven points per game. Another media timeout. The Bearcats stretching the lead. They've outscored Letourneau 26-12 since halftime. Welcome back. Matt Peterson with Rob Hip. Bearcats up 72-55, 7.34 left in the second half. Lone home game for the Cats, sandwiched around four road games. Two before this, two after it. They'll go to USF in three days, and then Cal State Bakersfield. Mitchell, good rebound. Bearcats up the other way. 
Well, I'm sure they'll enjoy that West Coast trip coming up. Nicest time of the year to be out in that area. Great defense back the other way, knocking that ball away. Eberhardt. The Bearcats picked second in the preseason poll. Much respect after last year. They exceeded expectations, picked sixth. They finished first. Bearcats trying to continue the winning ways for Jason Hooten in Huntsville. Another 20 win season, 11 for Hooten. 11 in the 30 year history of the program, but Hooten parted nine of those as an assistant and head coach. Hooten 180 wins. Now in his 10th season. Closing on 200, that is a great milestone here for Coach Hooten. Mitchell with the block, turned away Johnson. Ali Ute attempted, hit the corner of the backboard. Brought disgust off the look of Hooten's face. Leads to a corner three on the other end. Did not seem like a good time for an alley-oop with two Letourneau players around the basket. Yeah, you said that comment right when I was about to make it, and not just Coach Hooten, but his assistants over there as well. Andre Owens and other staff saying, what are you thinking? And then back the other way, the offensive board, Letourneau able to capitalize and score points off of that offensive board moments ago. A feeling with the bucket. Mitchell spinning in the lane, draws a foul. Great effort and athleticism by Mitchell, spinning around on that left side, able to draw the contact, circling back to the keys to victory that we talked about earlier directly from Coach Hooten earlier this afternoon. One of those getting into the paint and getting to the free throw line. And this evening, Sam Houston State is getting to that line. And also shooting around 78%. Not a bad night to get to the line here for Sam Houston as they have been there 10 trips so far here this evening. Sam Houston picked second in the poll. New Orleans, the preseason favorite, 13 first place votes. Abilene Christian, which won the conference tournament, picked third. Stephen F. Austin picked fourth. They got one first place vote. Central Arkansas, they got four first place, first place votes, but they finished fifth in the poll, so the voters undecided on Central Arkansas. A steal here by Lampley. Missed the layup. A turno basketball. It's two on one coming back the other way, Sam Houston State. And trying to make something happen there was Lampley. He had his teammate Bowie down low, but chose to bring that one up off the right side on the two-on-one, just not able to finish. Under five and a half left. Bearcats stretching the lead in the second half. Mitchell with the block. Turned away Thielen. Pull up from Bowie. Short. Acrobatic rebound from Nuttall. He tried to put it back straight away, but it comes off the boards. Tempo picking up here for both teams. And once again, that transition defense, Sam Houston State getting back quickly as Letourneau was trying to drive. And a double dribble now for Letourneau. Tyler Polk with the infraction. R.J. Smith returns. The Marcus Lampley to the bench. Kais Wilson checking in from Leander, Texas. And I broadcast a lot of games in the Austin area at the high school level. And no Kais, good to see him out there for Letourneau. Now, by the way, Nate West did foul out. He picked up his fifth foul. So he's on the bench. Uh, West tonight, eight points, three of 12 from the field. Bowie, nice drive. He'll go to the free throw line. When as a freshman too, even at the D3 level, you talk to some of these kids and they will tell you that you go from high school to college, it is a night and day difference. You're going up against not just boys now, but basically boys turning into grown men, and things change very quickly, and Kais will be the first one to tell you that. Our coach Hooten before the season said Chad has really improved his three-point shooting and leadership. Said he'll play a significant role on the defensive end and bring much-needed toughness to this team. Now the Delaney brothers brought that. Our Cam and Josh Delaney. 
free-wheeling spirit, but tough on both ends of the court for last year's Southland champions. A missed dribble on that far side from Paul. Bearcats will inbound. 19th turnover for Letourneau. Danin Swoop. Smith with Bowie inside Mitchell. Good use of the glass. Two more for Kai Mitchell. He's up to 12. A oh, great feed to the big man. He's hungry. Keep feeding it to the six foot seven senior Kai Mitchell. Easy basket. Deep three long offensive rebound. But he lost it. Bearcat ball. Now we saw Mitchell with the layup. Coach Hooten said he's really worked on his conditioning, plus his jump shot and versatility. Hooten expecting Kai to rebound at a high level. Has to carry the load this season. Mitchell now to the bench. And before the dunk attempt, traveling called, and you can see the frustration for Coach Hooten despite the lead. Yeah, that's all there. Just took the ball off before he took a step. And with 3.51 to go, 77 to 57. four minutes left, the Bearcats now in control. I enjoy seeing the kids, regardless of their age, see the light bulb go on and they have that aha moment. In 1997, I started Tomorrow's Promise, the Montessori School of Huntsville with three students. The Small Business Development Center helped me with classes on how to open a business. We also helped Kay market through social media, website analysis, and develop funding opportunities. We have grown to 38 teachers and over 220 students. 20 point lead for the Cats, 351 left. Good pressure from the Cats. They nearly get the steal with Dewan Jones. We'll see how the Bearcats finish. I think this is an important four minutes for them. They're trying to clean up some of their errors from earlier. Braden Jones nearly with the dunk, but he was fouled. He's from Lancaster, Texas. Six foot three freshman. He'll go to the line. Yeah, Bubba Furlong just getting there a little bit too late. Again, he played his first game this season, seven minutes versus Central Michigan. Most recently, that last game back on November the 16th, and good to see him back out here. On the court this afternoon, he is going to be valuable to the Sam Houston State team. Again, we talked to earlier, six more games before a little bit of a conference break, if you will. Two conference games coming up in December. Then the real meat of the conference gets started here in the Southland. Coach Hooten said he's in the best shape of his life. He's worked harder than ever before. Even coming off minor knee surgery, Coach Hooten says he has a high skill level. And they're expecting him to be a versatile inside-out player for the Cats this season. Here he is on the ball, spinning at the block. Good ball movement. R.J. Smith for three. Well, Letourneau has used 17 players tonight, so an opportunity for Dan Miller to empty his bench and give these players an opportunity on the road against a D1 foe. Smith could rebound, outlet pass, out in front of Jones for the layup. Great hustle back the other way, and that all starts with R.J. Smith back to back, finding his defender, Dewan Jones, or his player, Dewan Jones, on the offensive side. Able to put that one in, and it's a good opportunity and good playing time here for these guys. This was a two-point game at halftime, but the Bearcats have outscored the Yellow Jackets 39-17 since the break. Off the outstretched hand of Kice Wilson, it's Bearcat basketball as Cyrus Johnson returns. Sam Houston's made the last three field goals they've put up for the turnover, four turnovers here in under four minutes. They have not scored. They have went dry in that four-minute run as well. Sam Houston taking full advantage. Jason Hooten has emptied his bench. Twelve players have played tonight for the Cats. Furlong. Smith. Extra pass, open three. Oh, they'll say he went over the top. He was fighting for the rebound. Cyrus Johnson, the redshirt freshman. But he was whistled for the foul. 
Cyrus Johnson playing in his third game so far this season, entering into this ball game. He had only played six minutes, getting some valuable playing time here early in the season. Tyler Park checking back in for La Turnover. La Turno. I said La Turno. I was thinking of a turn. I'm thinking of the turnovers. No disrespect for La Turno. Again, a team in Division Three. Over the last three years, really at the top of their level. And I talked to some of the Letourneau fans as they were here. Just a few of them made their way. Uh, but a great school, great organization up in Longview. That's about a three-hour drive here from Huntsville. Give those guys credit. A wonderful school, wonderful organization. Midway between Tyler and Shreveport, Louisiana. Pick second in their division and their preseason poll. First free throw is good. The Bearcats have been in the Southland Tournament 17 straight years. The longest such streak currently in the Southland. The Bearcats trying to continue the home court advantage here at Johnson Coliseum. 12 and two in Huntsville last season. They've lost just six of their last 46 at home since the start of 2016. 30-second timeout for Dan Miller and Letourneau. Well, a moment ago, you saw Burble Furlong there with a, another block, or coming up, at least trying to knock that away. He is teammate, all smiles right now. Sam Houston State, heavily favored in this contest, struggling a bit in the first half. But in the second half, finding their rhythm, things have really came alive, and they've got a commanding lead with 155 to go. Home is always generous, not just for the football program, here at Sam Houston State, but also here in basketball as well. When you're here in Huntsville, Texas, it's a great place to be if you're a Sam Houston State University Bearcat. After the timeout, 155 left. Inbounded to Braden Jones. Jones, ball fake. Blocked by Furlong. Excellent defense from Furlong. Moved his feet well. Out to Smith. Furlong taking complete advantage of the minutes that he's getting here. Fourth time tonight that he has been able to reach up and get a tip on a ball and put a block. Great job tonight. Smith off the screen. It's a 14-1 run for the Cats. Good rebound on the interior. Terriante Thomas. Yeah, thanks for Letourneau drawing up 0 for 6 now on their last six field goal attempts. Thomas with the pull up. 11-0 run now for Sam Houston State in just under three minutes. A lot of separation up by 30. Letourneau's offense gone quiet. Nate West fouled out a few minutes ago. One of their offensive creators. 10 second difference between the clocks. Jones inside, Furlong with the turnaround short. Bearcats can inbound. Yeah, Gidry trying to save that. Good effort, but the ball goes back to Sam Houston. I've talked about it several times over the past few minutes. Bubba Furlong. Boy, what a great afternoon here in the second half that young man is having. And the Bearcats will just hold in midcourt with 10 seconds left to tip off. Now the Bearcats, short home stand, just one game. They go back on the road to San Francisco. They play the Dons on Saturday, then off to Cal State Bakersfield. A home game against Randall, then back 
on the road to UTRGV, but they win this one tonight. Your final thoughts, Rob Hip. Hey, great. To find their rhythm, to get back to where they need to be at home, to go 2-0. Great game here for Sam Houston, taking care of business against Letourneau. And credit Letourneau, a three, a Division three school coming in here tonight, showing a lot of force early. They just couldn't hang with the athleticism of Sam Houston State. But hats off to both of these teams. We'll take a break. When we come back, Coach Hooten will join us for a post-game interview. Bearcats win this one, 88-58. to 58.